Greetings, um, this person. Sorry, I have no idea how to pronounce your name. Needs more vowels. Could you maybe write it in katakana? No? Okay. Anyway, I liked your videos about uh, making the Queen of Sheba chocolate cake, but your unmolding technique, well, well, you were able to pull it off without any hitches, but there is an easier way, and uh, admittedly, your video was made uh, over two years ago, so it's quite possible you already know this, but uh, well, I have here a Queen of Sheba chocolate cake that's been cooling for a little over 15 minutes, and uh, well, this is a stand-in. I, I did actually have a second cake, but I, I baked it in this thing, yeah. And uh, it's flexible. So trying to get a good grip on it with uh, these things. Um, yeah, I've, I've actually baked quite a few Queen of Sheba's, Queens of Sheba, whatever, in this pan. Pan? Whatever. And this I believe is the first time that I dropped one. Um, yeah, here's what I was able to scrape off the floor there. Literally. Good thing my floor is clean. At least I'm able to delude myself that it is. Anyway, so, of course, here's the technique, of course, that you know about running the knife along it. Uh, on the edge. Exciting knife running along the edge in action. So then, here's what one does. A little harder with two cakes, but I think I can do it. And there it is. Um, and assuming this were an actual cake pan, it would do the same thing. 